yesterday so what my flat also no current on me so everybody pocket last week transfer the my answer the so if the power was not there, i i can't i can't i can't i can't uh, survive without ac for about at least 50 minutes i can't survive without the ac because uh, i am coming from a place like uh, if you if you come to my place maybe that it's like uh, you ever went to like uh, manali uh, himachal pradesh and no? all not snow but like temperature is uh, yeah 7 8 6 that is my normal temperature and out of uh, that's it so i i am exactly i am i'm coming from a place like that okay even if i go to colombo like uh, colombo is hot on me but uh, capital city around 25 26 that is the maximum temperature okay see here for the that particular heat for this heat right i got some kind of rashes right i can't tolerate that's why i'm asking how these people are surviving here right yesterday the flat uh, no power for 3 hours so i decided here i only request flat that i can cook food food issue i have so it's not i'm not comfortable with the food <clears throat> so I, i want to cook so i i only requested flat now i decided no i can survive without food also right so uh, from next time i onwards i decided i will request the hotel so other lecturers can come and sit in the flat huh? but if it happens it's very difficult ah okay fine so i am here yes my flat the, my place is also power cut but still i am here <laughs> fine fine anyway <laughs> heading right down termination termination so here like saudi middle east and all uh, every house have fully ac right full air conditioned all have acs your house yes 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 otherwise you can't how lucky we are you are living a like artificial life you are living artificial life you can't you can't drink water according to your wish that you should buy and drink mineral water only you can drink right here tap water you can't drink ground water you can't drink in my place where wherever you go uh, small small waterfalls you can take a cup of uh, water and you can drink <laughs> very nice but it definitely it will change after 5 10 years it's a disaster anyway fine okay good termination there are two types of termination students one is employee terminate contract employee terminate contract number 2 employer dismissed employee employer dismissed employee under employer dismissed employee write down employee should not 
unfairly dismissed. Should not unfairly dismissed. <coughs> okay, right. So there are two types of termination. Sometime employee from their side they might terminate the contract. What is the reason why employees terminate the contract? Obviously, better job. Definitely, they will leave. Uh, environment pressures, like they don't like the work. What else? One more reason. That is the main reason why people leave. Salary and all, that's fine. Okay, but uh, sometimes, if sa if for salary, if people are leaving, means uh, in India and Sri Lanka, most of the people are underemployed. Because their lifestyle is uh, having so many obligations. They can't lose those income. Don't think that Uber drivers and this pick me, sorry, uh, what I said, uh, uh, whatever, Zuki, Swiggy, Zoito, those drivers are uh, illiterate people. They are literate people. They are working and they do part-time job because of the obligation. Okay. So salary is not a reason because uh, in countries like this, right, uh, supply is very high population so you have to work for under pay have to work for low salary what is the main reason main reason is competency if you don't have competency to perform that job you won't uh, be there definitely you will leave at the time of interview you are telling i can do that i can do this i can do that i can do this you can you are, you are telling everything you can do but actually you don't know what it is once you got the job, very first day itself, you feel like blank. Will you stay? Definitely you will. Those are the reasons why employee terminate contract. Okay? So, subheading write down. Why employee terminate contracts? Why employees terminate contracts? Number one, lack of competency. Lack of competency. Lack of competency. Number two. Number two. Poor working condition. Poor working condition. Number three, organization politics. <coughs> organization politics. Number four, inflexible working hours. inflexible working hours for example you are asking uh, women to work at late night right inflexible working hours now heading right down dismissal Heading right down, dismissal. Under that write down. Dismissal is the word used. Dismissal is the word used to describe termination of an employment. To describe termination of an employment termination of an employment by the employer by the employer so any termination by the employer how we call dismissal how we call 
dismissal. There are different types of dismissal. So subheading write down types of dismissal. Number one, summary dismissal. Number one, summary dismissal. What is summary dismissal? This was happened in my uh, previous organization, right? Actually, one lecturer, right? Always I am telling the relationship between lecturer and student should be formal, not personal. Right, it should be formal. I came here to transform your life. So, it's my duty to behave as a role model. Other than that, there is no such relationship. If you succeed, I am happy. That's all. Right. The only uh, place where I can put your uh, image is my status when you get a rank. If you get a rank, definitely you will, uh, that particular poster, right, I will share. Then I can say I am proud of you. That is the only thing that I can interact with you. Other than that, come here, study, do exams, pass, succeed, go to your There is no more relationships. Hi, good morning, how are you? No. You got my point what I am saying? Right. That is very important. That independence is matter. Then only we can do this profession in a proper way. But the previous organization I observed, one lecturer have relationship with student. It is not nice. It is not correct. Yes or no? Peoples have different arguments, but it is wrong. But it is wrong. So what I am trying to tell you is, once that incident is identified, immediately management dismissed that lecturer without any notice. Once the information is received and it is get confirmed, at that point he dismissed. That is called summary dismissal. Without any notice, immediately we dismissed a person, that is called summary dismissal. Summary dismissal is too dangerous. Why? You are losing your job instantly. You don't have time to search another job. When employees are doing a serious misstatement, a serious breach, then only HR will go to this particular type of uh, dismissal. Is it clear? Right? So write it down. Summary dismissal. Employer dismiss employee. Employer dismiss employee. Without notice. Employer dismiss employee without notice. This will happen when employee commit serious offense. Employee commit serious offense. Serious offense. Next one, dismissal on notice. Dismissal on notice. Time. Right. So normally this dismissal we call kind of a fair dismissal. Right. You dismiss like uh, with a proper notice period, one month. For example, let's say uh, closure of business, business branch. Now they decide, are you decided to close Chennai branch? For the staff, they are asking, assume, huh? for the staff, they are asking to come to Bangalore. Right. Some of the staff said, no, we can't because uh, that is not lucrative for us. Then okay, one month notice, uh, we are going to close this branch by next month, so you guys can find another job. So normally when we give a notice period before dismissal, right, 
that is comparatively comparing with summary dismissal the breach is less now we will give notice so no need to work from next month onwards you are not coming here so find out somewhere else a job third one write down constructive dismissal commonly identified in developed countries developing countries constructive dismissal constructive dismissal uh, constructive environment all the females ladies you can feel when once you got married if you go to your mamiar's house husband's house you will get this constructive uh, issue what is constructive dismissal mean if your husband's uh, mother did anything wrong that is fair if you did anything wrong that is unfair if your husband's mother wake up at 10 am no problem if you wake up at 10 a 10 am it is a big problem if the husband's mother ate before your husband ate no problem because of hungry if you ate before your husband it is a serious problem yes or no huh all these traditional things will create constructive situations to the females that's all as i'm telling females always lives in the discomfort zone see from your house also same but your mother is telling learn this learn that once you got married you should do this you should do that they are training you to become a slave yes or no so your house is also discomfort zone once you got married if you go to husband's house they are also discomfort zone constructive situation that is one reason why female performance are significantly affected You got my point is true in my house i only cook in my house i only cook because i can cook well than my wife so i am cooking so what is the problem she if i ask her to cook forcefully will she cook she cook but i can't eat what is the point waste of resources right waste of resources if i can cook well i cook simple i should not shame why that's a stereotype shall to break simple right that's that's a story so what i'm trying to tell you is constructive dismissal same environment in the workplace once your employer decided okay let's say here the directors are decided somehow we should send farin out <laughs> somehow we should send farin out but they will do my payment get delayed one and when i reach india they will give 25000 for like my expenses for 20 days normally i'll stay 20 to 25 days so they will give 25000 inr for my expenses where i go i can spend <laughs> that is out they won't give they will delay that one otherwise i should bring inr from sri lanka to india right third one electricity water to flat cut that is a easy way to remove me you got my point constructive dismissal we are creating some ad- adverse pressure by employer to employee which automatically makes employee to leave which automatically employees to make right normally when i started my career i told you i i, I resigned from a workplace one week before my wedding you know what is the reason constructive dismissal only the main reason the management forced me because in sri lanka we are giving physical books which is a uh, kaplan published books the original book from uk we import and give to students in sri lanka that is the custom right and uh, the management board already expired books because expired books are very cheap latest books are expensive like say latest books let's say uh, $15 expired book $2 you can get it so what management did what all expired books they import and they ask me to tell to students that book is still valid and personally i know that book is not valid there are lot of changes 
they are forcing me to do that. I said, no, they force me. No, you have to tell because we don't have latest book. So I said, then tell them or take the, at least one new book, take it. Whatever the addition, take a photocopy and keep that photocopy inside this old book, then give. Still, that is fine. They said, no. No, you have to tell. They said, I can't. Problem. From that day onwards, salary penny. I have, I am not doing, I am not selling something. Huh? I am providing service. If management is not providing salary means I can't stop teaching. Because I am playing with the generation. You got my point? So I decided to continue my lectures even though they didn't pay salary. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months. So I, whatever the back, batch I took for six months Sri Lanka programs, the complete batch, I, I completed that batch. Management also know this fellow will not stop the lectures. So let him continue, we will not go into pain. And create so many issues from that day onwards. I took my material and editing those materials and putting some irrelevant facts and telling this lecture material is wrong. From that day onwards, I am sharing only PDF. I am never shared but Word document. All these are constructive situation, right? Can you work? I resign myself. Outstanding 1.5 million. No need. Keep it with you all. Thank you very much. I am going to leave. Because inner space is very more important than this mental stress. You got my point? <laughs>